All right, everybody, welcome to the latest episode of the Educators Chat. I'm Eric, you know Sarah, and you're meeting Lisa Bohati from uh, East Butler. And Lisa, we've got uh, we've had a lot of these throughout the uh, spring, late spring semester. Um, a lot of things of, about school have changed dramatically. They've changed dramatically from before we even started these uh, these chats to going through these chats. Um, we're in the midst of graduation season and schools figuring out how they're going to end this school year. Um, obviously different from what every, every other year has ever been um, since we started school. But uh, tell us a little bit about what, uh, what you guys at Eves Butler have been up to uh, since, well, I guess the middle of March. <laughs> Right. Well, actually, today is our last day of school. So um, we actually pushed the last day of school up a week because of all this, um, just to get stuff back and get all the um, everything checked in to give us time to do that. So um, happy last day of school for us. So yeah. that's done. But um, we kind of saw this. I don't know. Our, our superintendent was really good about seeing this pandemic coming. He kept saying, um, I don't wish for a tornado to hit my house, but I want to have a storm shelter built in case it does. He's like, we're going to plan for it in case this happens, you know? So I think that was really good. Um, I actually started doing a Zoom session, like teaching the teachers about Zoom March 5th. Um, we didn't get out till March 17th. So we started talking about what's this going to look like. Um, we really though, the Mar that Monday, like March 15th, we got called after school to a meeting and said, um, kids will be here tomorrow, but then that's it. And so it's kind of that like, um, so a lot of teachers weren't using Google Classroom. So we got teachers quickly, <laughs> like let's learn Google Classroom fast. And so, um, but teachers have really um, been using Zoom a lot to keep instruction going with students. And um, between Google Classroom and Zoom, um, our kids have really, still had instruction every day and still been turning in assignments and working hard. So um, we've been doing pretty good, I would say. Yeah. And exciting. It's the last day. Congratulations yeah. for making it through online school. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yep. Done. So what is East Butler doing for graduation? So we are actually having a parade, a senior parade on Saturday, um, which would be graduation. Um, so we're going to go because these butlers so spread out. We'll go from Prague to Brainerd to Dwight. So kids will drive their cars and people will hold signs. Um, so that's kind of on graduation day. We decided to do something special for seniors. Um, and then we actually did move graduation to the kids said they met with the kids via Zoom, um, all the seniors, and they said they do want to actually have a, a ceremony if they can. And so they, um, like July 25th, the end of July, we're gonna have a ceremony. And if that doesn't work, August 1st is the next day. And then if we can't do either of those, then we won't have that. But um, the kids really still did feel they wanted to have that ceremony and we we're okay waiting till July. So um, I think it was really important to get the kids feedback on what they really wanted. So um, that's our plan right now, so. What's, uh, Lisa, what is something that has come from all of this change of school? Um, has there been any part of it that you felt kind of comfortable with? Well, I was hired, this is my first year there, and I was hired to be a K-12 tech integration specialist, and they never had that position before at East Butler. And so um, I've had many people say, oh, I'm so glad you're here because without you, I don't know what we do, you know, so it did really make them understand my job. <laughs> and um, we had one teacher that went into the superintendent and said, you know, I've been wanting to learn Google Classroom for the last three or four years, but it only took me a pandemic to learn it. So <laughs> um, I think um, we really have had a lot of teachers take on that, like, okay, I'm going to figure this out. and. Um, you know, like, oh, I should do that, or I should learn that. All those years you think, oh, I should. Well, this made you do it. Um, so if anything, I know our teachers are more comfortable using the tech tools and ways to um, engage students through technology. So I said, that's probably been the biggest benefit of it. If there's a benefit to e-learning. <laughs> uh, no, that, that definitely makes sense. Is there anything that's like fun or a new book you've been reading like personally and growing in that area? Cause you were talking earlier about taking on a new class, digital media and wanting to do 
video production and all of this. So you're, I feel like you're preparing and studying up on everything to add this class, but what about personally? Is there anything fun that you're learning? Um, well, I just bought Matt Miller's new book. It's called Tech Like a Pirate. Cause okay. he wrote, he wrote like ditch that textbook and he's written, um, he does his own podcast and he's a national speaker. So, um, his book just came out last week, so I don't have it yet, but I'm excited to have that. So it's kind of along the lines of teach like a pirate and, but it's tech like a pirate. So it's using tech tools, um, effectively to enhance instruction. So I don't have it yet, but I'm excited to get that. So, um, but yeah, I have been using this time to do webinars and learn about different tools that I've been wanting to learn about, you know, so it's given me some of that time to do those kind of things. So. Lisa, Lisa, recently there's been some things in the national news that have uh, kind of made uh, some headlines as far as uh, what, what could school look like in the fall? And have you guys gotten to that point where you've begun talking about, hey, what August could look like for you guys? Right. Our principal has been talking. We've said that we could still be doing this in the fall. And so um, we will do, we've talked about, we actually had a training April like 14th or something. We had a training with a professor from UNK that does remote teaching a lot. So we actually extended our Easter break. It was right after Easter. So we extended our Easter break and um, he trained us and gave us some tips and tricks of remote teaching. So we kind of were thinking, if we need to do more of that, um, we'll have him do some more training right before school starts if this is what we have to do. Um, we also purchased Seesaw Pro um, to get for the younger students, for elementary students, to be able to use that as a tool to um, gather students' work and have, you know, so we did that and we purchased that. So, and then we'll just do more training over the summer if we need to. Um, but I feel like our teachers really, um, especially our elementary teachers have been doing Zoom, like our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders have been doing Zoom every day from nine to 11 with their students and doing a reading lesson and then a math lesson for an hour. So um, those kids are used to Zoom now. <laughs> Zoom is a new vocabulary word for everybody. So um, I feel like we've got a good grasp on what to do. We have talked about, we'll have a formal, we'll have a more formal schedule if we need to do this. And, you know, like we've seen other schools and what they've done. So um, we've talked about what we can do better and how we'll, what we'll have to change. Um, so unfortunately, we have started some of that planning already. So fingers crossed case. we don't have to go there. Right. Just, <laughs> right. In, case. Just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa, what thoughts do you have to share with other educators? Um, as they go through the summer, thinking about the fall, or maybe even transitioning into online school come fall 2020. Um, yeah, just anything inspirational or encouraging or something that you've learned through this time? Um, I guess most importantly is take time to self-care and take care of yourself. Um, like I do jazzercise, but do what you do. Do, you know, do what makes you happy and still take time to do that because I think when you can't go out and socialize, um, people have been using Zoom. <laughs> like for Nita, we did a music bingo and we played music bingo together, you know? So finding those ways to um, still have that social interaction, whether it's through Zoom or whatever you can. So um, I guess most importantly, still take care of yourself. I think we can say thank you, Lisa, for your time today. Um, obviously best wishes as you guys wrap up your school year and. Hopefully we don't have to keep doing these in the fall. Right, right.